A man from Florida struggling to put a gator into a trash can. Yeah, that's right, gator into a trash can. Fox 35's Matt Treza explains why this is a bad idea. Eugene Bozzi says after trapping the alligator in the trash bin, he released it into that pond. A dramatic video shows Eugene Bozzi forcing the alligator into the garbage bin. He asks onlookers to tell him when its head goes in. Hey, let me know when the head goes inside. Let me know. Uh -huh. Somebody let me know the head yeah. goes inside. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. When he drops the lid, it hits the alligator's head, and the huge reptile starts thrashing. Eventually, it climbs most of the way inside, and Bozzi struggles to pull the bin upright. So I got the trash can, and I seen some things on TV. I knew that the door, if I kept the front of the trash can, he'll at least even go in or think that's like a mouth and retreat, which he kind of did. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, overwhelmed him and threw him inside and walked him down safely. That was it. Bozzi wheels the bin down to a nearby lake and releases the alligator into the water. The gator moves fast to get away. I really, the weight of him it was heavier than I thought he was. That's the only way I was, I was telling him, I was like, oh, he's kind of heavy. Then when I got him in, he was real strong. Like, it was, felt like a person was actually you know, hitting the top of it, trying to get out, and I just held it down for a little bit. He calmed down, got to the bottom, he was done. Trapper Isaac Rempe with affordable wildlife removal says by doing this, Bozzi put himself and others in danger. Especially backing an animal like that into the corner, you know, there, there's nothing that's going to stop. I saw several opportunities where it could have blown under the trash can, blown around the trash can, and an alligator that size is going to have no problem taking you to the ground, taking, you know, a leg, a foot, or at least causing some extremely severe bites. Rempe says the best thing to do is get everyone inside and leave the gator alone. Realistically, he should have done nothing. He should have went inside, left the animal alone. It would have moved on along its way. Second recourse would have been to contact FWC and have them come out and do a removal. FWC. FWC did show up and they talked with Bozzi, but they decided not to cite him for capturing the alligator. In Mount Dora, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.